Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratik Shamishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. Odisha, the land of ancient temples, vibrant festivals and a rich tribal traditions is a cultural kaleidoscope waiting to be explored. In a bid to promote its coastal beauty and give rise to tourism, a five-day long international sand festival was organized by the government engaging a large sum of people from around the globe. Let's have a look. The vibrant state of Odisha is a fascinating blend of diverse cultures, rich tribal traditions and unique languages. This is one such state in India which would surprise you with its evident beauty every time you dig a little more to understand its social and cultural dynamics. We all must be aware of the most popular city of Odisha, Puri, which is often considered one of the favourite tourist destinations in India because of its serene beach. Not so long ago, the vibrant city of Puri organized its five-day-long 13th International Sand Festival at its Chandrabhaga beach, which attracted skilled sand artists from around the globe. I'm very glad to participate in project in India. It's my composition, it's Matryoshka. It's uh, in Russian tradition. Today's topic is World Heritage, so uh, me and my friend Irina from Russia, we are working together. This five-day-long sand festival brought together skilled sand artists from different corners of the globe to showcase their talent in creating intricate and breathtaking sculptures entirely out of sand. The artists utilize the golden sands of the beach as their canvas, carving intricate designs and sculptures that convey messages. I'm very fortunate to be invited here to this festival, this world-class festival. I've uh, done a piece that <coughs> comes from my heart <coughs> and to, you know, the wars that are going on, I just want to show peace to the world. People in thousands of numbers gathered to witness these captivating piece of sand sculptures which looked so lively due to its intricate detailing art. The festival aims to promote tourism, celebrate the rich artistry of sand sculpting and provide a platform for artists to exchange ideas and techniques. Not only did the festivity attract international sand sculptors but also celebrated the talents of local artisans. The fusion of global perspectives and local flair created a vibrant tapestry of artistic expression. पब्लिक तो प्रत्येक साल बढ़ते ही जा, जा रहा है और बहुत सेल्फी लोग करता है और यहाँ के बालू कला का आनंद भी लेता है हम लोगों को पता नहीं था इधर आके ही पता चला कि ऐसा कुछ फेस्टिवल होता है तो ये तो मालूम नहीं था तो अभी बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कोई पब्लिसिटी नहीं है तो होना चाहिए पब्लिसिटी तो और भी लोग जान सके और लोग आ सके the festivity was organized by the Tourism Department of Odisha to promote the coastal beauty of the region, making it a must-visit for art enthusiasts and tourists alike. More than a hundred artists from countries like USA, Australia, Sri Lanka, Russia, Belarus and Czech Republic participate in the 13th International Sand Art Festival 2023. Actually, this is the 13th International Sand Art Festival, which is organized by Odisha Tourism Department. Because this beach is very famous, beach Chandravaga Beach, where lots of visitors they come. And especially for this festival, uh, this is the biggest festival in India in Sand Art Festival. Because uh, every year we do this festival, and this year more than 100 artists participating around the world. 
festivities like these play a vital role in preserving and nurturing states regional as well as cultural legacies. Owing to this, the Indian government is making concerted efforts to promote its national heritage. Moving on, India organizes international trade fairs on a regular basis to support its traditional craftsmen and small entrepreneurs on a global platform. A 14-day long trade fair in New Delhi held recently witnessed participation of lakhs of people from across the world, rendering small businessmen, especially those coming from backward sections of the society, a chance to engage with wider audiences. Let's take a look. From exporting fine quality Banarsi and Mysuru silk, handwoven and handcrafted products and exotic herbs and spices to the European market, India has been a central player in the global trade market for centuries. India had witnessed adversities in the past when the country stopped being an exporter of finished goods and became a source of raw materials like cotton and jute to feed British industries. However, despite all the ups and downs, India remained resilient, sustaining growth and today with its demographic dividend, growing middle class and entrepreneurial spirit, the country has immense potential to become a global trade leader. In this spirit, to support its domestic market and to give rise to global trade relations, the Indian government recently organized its 42nd International Trade Fair in the heart of national capital, New Delhi, rendering a common platform to traders from across the country and the world. Jitesh, whose family has been participating in such fairs for the past 17 years, shared his perspective on how these events organized by the government help in uplifting the backward classes. The government is increasing this work. The people who are the trade fairs so that our can increase. जहाँ भी ट्रेड फेयर लगते हैं हम सर वहाँ पे सरकार हमें गवर्नमेंट जो है वो हमें लेटर भेजती है फिर हम उसका रिप्लाई करके फिर हमें शॉप मिलती स्टॉल मिलती है एनबीसी एफडी सी की तरफ से तो हमें आते हुए करीबन तीस चालीस साल से ज़्यादा हो गए हमारे जो अंकल जी बैठे हैं ये तीस चालीस साल से मैं तो फोर ईयर से आ रहा हूँ ओवर टेन लाख पीपल इंक्लूडिंग बिजनेस पर्सन ग्रेस द इवेंट विद दे प्रेजेंस फॉर फोर्टीन कंजेक्यूटिव डेज which also garnered a lot of appreciation and praise worldwide. The theme of the fair was Vasudev Kutumbakam, wherein Bihar and Kerala were the partner states during the fair. Moreover, Delhi, Jharkhand, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir remained in focus due to their eccentric and budget-friendly products. During the event, participants were found explaining and educating visitors regarding the cultural and traditional importance of their products. I have come here through the government and our products are very good. It's a lot of good, it's a lot of good. Basically, the famous one is the famous one, the Lungru, the Lusuda. And this is the same thing as the Gehu, which is the same thing as the Shira. It's very good. It's basically good for the liver. And this is the Himachal Kangra. It's a hard hard. 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 There was a lot of enthusiasm among the people as they purchased items, as per their interest from various stalls with good discounts. 13 countries including Oman, Afghanistan, Bangladesh and Turkey brought their unique products to this fair. The event also gave them an opportunity to learn about and become aware of the various government schemes. I make a bag of cotton. This is my house. And I work with Maharashtra Lagu Udyok. So they make it from their hands. It's pure cotton, it's washable, it's a good quality of zip. और यहाँ पे अच्छा रिस्पांस मिला है। This is just one example of how the Indian government is working towards the upliftment of the underdeveloped sections of the society. Moreover, such fairs also provide an opportunity for traders to interact with a wider audience and earn reasonable profit. 
And now, some of the stories that made news recently. President Draupadi Murmu hosted a banquet in honor of Kenyan President William Samoe Ruto at the Rashtrapati Bhavan on December 6. He was also accorded a ceremonial welcome at the forecourt of Rashtrapati Bhavan. President Draupadi Murmu and PM Narendra Modi welcomed the Kenyan President at Rashtrapati Bhavan. Earlier, Ruto, who was in India on a state visit, paid tribute to Mahatma Gandhi at his memorial at Rajghat. During his visit to India, the Kenyan president will hold detailed discussions with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Guide the Professionals arranged an impressive bike rally and cybercrime awareness program in cooperation with the District Police and the Central University of Kashmir to create awareness about cybercrime and its effects. The experts recommended the participants practice safe internet browsing habits such as avoiding dubious websites. They also instructed participants not to reveal the OTPs, bank account information or passwords and they explained how to take preventive precautions when doing internet banking and online transactions. Participants were warned about accepting friend requests from strangers or conversing with strangers on social media. The attendees praised the police for arranging such a seminar and raising awareness about various cyber crimes among the general public. The participants praised the various departments, sponsors and partners for their efforts in making this program a success. Religious fervor has gripped Ayodhya ahead of the consecration ceremony of Ram Lala in January next year. Efforts are being made to decorate Ayodhya as a city of Treta Yug. A Ram Charan Paduka has been installed in the 10th city of Ayodhya's Brahmakund. A priest of the Ram Janam Bhumi Tirth elucidated of the significance of Charan Paduka. Another priest says that simply worshipping the Charan Paduka is equivalent to an Ayodhya tour. The Pran Pratistha or Consecration Ceremony of Ayodhya Ram Temple is slated to take place on January 22, 2024. Simultaneous prayers will be held in nearly 5 lakh temples across the nation on the same day. 4,000 saints and 2,500 eminent citizens will be present at the historic moment of Pran Pratistha. And now, let's take you to Vadodara city of Gujarat, where a unique event was held in a bid to find modern solutions to modern problems. Children's Literature Festival, Bukaru, was recently organized to promote traditional book reading habit among children. The festival also brought together parents, children's authors and intellectuals on one platform. Let's take a look. In today's time, mobile phone has become a part and parcel of everyone's life. Especially for children, it has become a habit. Though the gadget has less utility to them, children these days are more addicted to it. Whether they are studying, playing or eating, they need mobile phones. According to a 2022 journal published by the American Medical Association, too much screen time could also lead to cognitive issues later in childhood. Moreover, there are other risks associated to it, such as weight gain, sleep problems, inactiveness and lack of concentration while studying. So in a bid to promote traditional book reading habit and engage children in activities like art and crafts away from electronic gadgets, Bukaru, a children's literature festival was organized in Vadodara city of Gujarat. Kids along with their parents came to join the festival in large numbers and enjoyed the event. We have been coming from last two years, and they are not going to become writers, but they are getting exposed to so many things. They are meeting people, like-minded children, and such a positive environment. The festival provided them an opportunity to learn new things. 
Moreover, it acted as a platform for children to communicate and socialize with kids of their age groups. The event followed various activities for children ranging from 4 to 14 years of age such as story tree, art and craft workshop and book reading corner to make them understand the importance of books. बहुत जरूरी है बहुत मोबाइल है टैबलेट है उसमें स्टोरीज भी वहाँ पे भी उनको यूट्यूब के माध्यम से स्टोरीज सुनने मिलता है बट उसमें वो वॉम नहीं होता वो टच नहीं होता जो यहाँ पे हमें स्पीकर से मिला एंड एज ए पेरेंट्स हमें भी बहुत सीखने मिला कि बच्चे इस तरह से अगर स्टोरी में ट्विस्ट लाए अगर कुछ एक्शन लाए डांस लाए तो बच्चे ये चीज़ों को बहुत इंजॉय करते हैं More than 29 speakers from different fields narrated stories to the children during the event. The children asked questions while they were discussed topics of interest with them. Moreover, the authors of the books were also present there and gave their autographs to the buyers of the books as a sweet gesture. 4 se 14 saal ke bachcho ke liye hai और हर सेशन जो आप देख रहे हैं मेरे पीछे हो रहा है अलग अलग वेन्यूज पे उसमें चार से छः छः से आठ आठ से दस दस से बारह साल इस तरह से हमने डिवाइड किया है तो वही जैसे मैंने कहा एक जगह कहानी ट्री में कंटिन्यूसली कहानी चल रहे हैं अलग अलग एजेस के लिए फिर आपका जैसे समझिए क्राफ्टी कॉर्नर है वहाँ पर बच्चे क्राफ्ट सीख रहे हैं कोई चारकोल के साथ क्राफ्ट सीख रहा है कोई पेंट के साथ क्राफ्ट सीख रहा है आके देखेंगे तो पता चलेगा फिर डूडल वॉल पर आर्ट सीख रहे हैं सारे फिर कितना बढ़िया बुक शॉप है उसमें सारे ऑथर्स जो आए हुए हैं उनकी किताबें हैं आइए ऑटोग्राफ लीजिए ऑथर्स का और देखिए क्या मजा आएगा बाद में आपको याद रहेगा कि हाँ इन ऑथर्स से हम मिले थे The event was a great initiative that brought parents, children, authors and intellectuals together on one platform to find the solution to modern problems. Such events are crucial for today's time as these are not only important for children's physical and psychological development but for everyone. And now some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Some of Hollywood's biggest names graced LA Magazine's 2023 Women in Hollywood red carpet in Los Angeles. This year's selective group included the likes of Jennifer Lopez, Eva Longoria, and Academy Award winner Jodie Foster among others. The ceremony honored the women who have made a significant impact in the various fields of the entertainment industry. The creative and cultural contributions from this year's honorees to the fields of music, film and television were on full display at the red carpet event. The night was filled with inspiration and became a theme for many of the night's award honorees. This year's list also included lead actress in Past Lives Greta Lee. and the stars of the upcoming film The Color Purple Fantasia Daniel Brooks and Tara G P Henson for many in attendance living in the moment was truly important and surreal the 2023 honorees will each grace the December January covers of the LA on newsstands nationwide on December 19 2023 and online The British Museum has lent Athens an ancient Greek vase, the first time it has left the museum in 250 years, as well as another 7 artifacts for an exhibition at the Acropolis Museum, a week after a diplomatic row between Britain and Greece over antiquities. The Medea's Hydria, a black and terracotta water pot made in 420 BC by Athenian potter Medea's, will also travel to an exhibition in Paris. Another 7 ancient Greek artifacts also vessels from the British Museum have been loaned for the exhibition. The British Museum also loaned artifacts to the Acropolis Museum for an exhibition in 2017. Stempolidis said the Hydra is like those depicted on the frieze of the Parthenon temple and believes it was not for daily use but for special festivals such as the procession of the great Panathenia on the Parthenon. The British Museum acquired the Medea's Hydria in 1772 from British ambassador to Naples Sir William Hamilton who bought the pot in Naples in 1764. The pot had been exported from Greece to Italy in ancient times according to the British Museum and was later found in a tomb in Campania. The Medea's Hydria will later travel to the Louvre Museum in Paris 
in 2024 for an exhibition. And lastly, let's introduce you to a Kashmiri artist hailing from Bargaum village, Yunus Ahmed Sheikh, who not only brought pride to his community but has also made a lasting impact on the makeup industry. His record-breaking achievements serve as an inspiration for individuals to pursue their passions and break barriers in their respective fields. Let's have a look. Along with the picturesque views, India's Kashmir Valley has always been a home of distinctive talents where every child emerges as a ray of hope for the shining and brighter future. Hailing from a village in Bargaum district, Yunus Ahmed Sheikh is one such artist who has made a name for himself as the first male makeup artist and educator from the valley. His remarkable talent and passion for makeup artistry has earned him recognition globally. वो धीरे-धीरे जो मेरा पैशन है वो थोड़ा मेहंदी की तरफ गया और मैंने मेहंदी आर्ट में अपना आर्ट को जो है थोड़ा शो कर दिया और ऐसे ही मुझे लोकेलिटी में ही ब्राइड्स आने लगे कि आप हमें भी आ, उनके जैसे ब्राइडल जो उनकी शादी होती थी उस पे उन्होंने मुझे बोला कि आप हमें मेहंदी लगाओ तो मेरा मेहंदी का आर्ट जो है वो उसी दौरान मुझे शो हो गया तो इसी दौरान बहुत सारे लोग मुझे बोल रहे हैं कि अब हमें एक मेहंदी आर्टिस्ट को हायर करना पड़ता है आप मेकअप आर्टिस्ट अलग से हैं ब्यूटिशियन अलग से तो आप क्यों ना एक काम करें आप फुल ब्यूटिशियन करें आप किसी मेकअप आर्ट में जाए तो इसी दौरान जो है 2017 में मैंने जो है अपना मेकअप आर्ट जो है उसको शो किया और थोड़ा थोड़ा मुझे उस टाइम नॉलेज नहीं था रिलेटेड मेकअप हाउ टू स्टार्ट कंटोरिंग कट क्रीज कैसे करें आंखों को तो नॉलेज नहीं थी उसके बाद जैसे 2020 आया तो मैंने सोचा क्योंकि मैं अब इस फील्ड में जा चुका हूं थोड़ा मार्केट भी भर रहा है मुझे लोकेलिटी में तो मुझे इस फील्ड में जाना चाहिए Yunus achieved a remarkable feat by setting a world record for the fastest Indian bridal makeup which he completed in 8 minutes and 58 seconds in 2016. In 2022, he opened his own salon offering skin care, hair treatments, mehndi services and bridal and other makeup services. Aur jaise maine start kiya तो सोसाइटी में मेरे पेरेंट्स को बहुत सारे जो है ताने मिलने लगे कि आपका बेटा क्यों इस फील्ड में जाता है समाओ कि कुछ लोग ऐसे भी हमारी सोसाइटी में जिन्होंने मुझे बोला कि आप इस फील्ड में जा रहे हो आप बिल्कुल गलत कर रहे हो बिकॉज ये हमारे जो है सोसाइटी में बहुत लो लेवल का प्रोफेशन है तो मैंने सोचा अभी ये लो लेवल का प्रोफेशन है अगर मैं इसको थोड़ा शो करूँ मैं इसको हाई लेवल का प्रोफेशन बनाऊँ तो कल को एक मुझे रिस्पेक्ट मिलेगा और वो बच्चे जो बच्चे इस चीज़ में जाना चाहते हैं उनको भी एक सपोर्ट मिलेगा कि नहीं वो नहीं डरेंगे कि एक मेल आर्टिस्ट ने ऐसा किया हम भी करेंगे इस फील्ड में द अचीवमेंट हैज मेड यूनिस अ ट्रेल ब्लेजर इन द मेकअप इंडस्ट्री हिज डेडिकेशन एंड स्किल्स हैव नॉट ओनली मेड हिम अ रोल मॉडल फॉर एस्पायरिंग मेकअप आर्टिस्ट बट हैव आल्सो ओपन डोर्स फॉर मेन इन एन इंडस्ट्री ट्रेडिशनली लेड बाय वुमेन That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback on myindia@anin.com. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team.